summer of 78, Will Anderson lost all his cowhands just at the time he was to start his cattle drive. Miserable. Did you ever think of hiring boys? What boys? School boys. Oh, sure, and women. How about my mom in Cedar City? She's only 92. Well, you ain't got a lot of choices. Who's first? I'll go first. My name's Honeycutt. I'm 15. And everybody calls me Slim. I'm next. My name's Homer Weems, Mr. Anderson. And I hope I ain't wrote all the rough off of you. You all right, boy? Yes, sir. My name's Clyde Potter. They call me Fats. Then I the gut myself. What are you going to use for hands on this drive of yours, huh? Them little bitty boys down there? Come on, you know better than that, Mr. Anderson. You know what you're going to need? Trundle them boys across the prairie, don't you? A baby carriage. Oh, whatever I need, I'll get. I don't expect to get to Belfouche with one single head of beef. But I'm cornered. So I'm taking you on. This is a double O. This is Belfouche. In between is 400 miles of the meanest country in the West. And the only way we're going to get through is if you take orders. You'll get the best food in the territory, no rest, damn little sleep. And come with grit teeth. Because, gentlemen, that's when school really begins. You know, in the late war between the states, I served under an officer just like you. Is that right? As a matter of fact, I shot that military gentleman in the buttocks, just outside Vicksburg. But you point your ears now, son. Because you ain't running back to Mr. Will Anderson with them eyes rolling back in your head, telling him that there's these real bad men that have been following us day and night. You're not going to say that. Because I'm going to come to you some night when it's real dark. I'm gonna come to you on tiptoe. So you ain't never gonna be able to hear me. 